Grant and Tori have discovered that if you simply mimic the movie Wanted, you won't bend bullets. Too early. <laughs> I have to look at the high speed, but I'm pretty sure I curved that one. They've even built a deadly accurate gunslinging robot, giving it the exact same sidearm action as the myth and still failed to get anything but a straight shooter. The bullet didn't curve. So next up, they're raising the bar and ramping up the robot. So the great thing about this test is that the characters are superhuman, not supernatural. I mean, they're not vampires, they don't use magic, they don't have telekinetic powers to curve the bullet. All it is is superhuman speed and strength, and that we can do in abundance. We've calibrated the rig to twice what a normal human can do. Loading the gun with the live round. Twice as fast. We'll see how that goes. Ready. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so it's all ramped up. Now it's time to see if we can curve a bullet. This is what it all comes down to. All right, live round at superhuman speed. You ready? Let's get it on. Here we go, you guys. In three, two, one. <laughs> Center shot. And the paper trail once again neatly illustrates the path of the projectile. It's made it to the second frame. Yeah. Third. Yes. Fourth. <laughs> and the fifth frame. This is a good test. Let's check the alignment. OK. You see the laser? Uh, I see the laser. It's a straight shot. There's no <laughs> deviation whatsoever. Superhuman strength, and we still have a straight shot. Yep, despite flicking the robotic arm around at superhuman speeds, when the bullet leaves the barrel, it leaves in a straight line. And that leaves this part of the story done and busted. I know what you're thinking. You're sitting at home thinking, ah, oh, the Mythbusters gave up too soon. It was only one shot. But look, here's the reality. This robot's capable of swinging its arm harder and faster than a major league hitter. Maybe if I saw three quarters of an inch, half an inch, maybe even a quarter of an inch, it would be worth continuing on. But you know what? We're not seeing any deviation at all. It's time to move on.